I hope you are enjoying this video. If you want to know how I achieved this blazer jacket, please make sure you keep watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I will be needing my measuring book, my fabric, my measuring tape, my tailor's chuck, my stretch ruler, my armhole, last but not the least, my hip ruler. So these are the things I will be needing to construct this blazer dress. It's going to be a freehand method because I don't want to waste much of your time. but if you really want to do pattern for it if you have not mastered it please watch my previous videos to make sure you construct one for yourself to your perfect shape so let's dive to the video so my i'm going to use the largest my largest basic body which is my hips so my hip is 40 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 for the lapel 4 inches for the lapel then two inches for seam allowances so let's get started so in my measurements what i have here is um 16. this side will be my seam allowance side why this side will be my lapel so the next is for me to mark out my starting line so i'm going to use this fabric label as my starting line the next step is to add my seam allowance, which is half inch. This is where I'll be placing my tape, sorry. So from here, I'm going to place my chest line, which is seven. So I'm going to place my, my chest line, which is seven. Then my bust is a ten and a half. My bust length is 10 and a half, so I'm going to mark 10 and a half. Why my shoulder to waist is um, 17, so I'm going to mark 17 here. My waist to hip, I'm going to mark 8, which is the standard. I'm going to use eight. So after marking eight, the next is my full length. So I'm going to use the whole of this, um, the length of the fabric as my full length. So I don't need to worry about the length because this is Akara. So I'm going to use the whole of this as my full length. The only thing is I have to minus one and a half and the down part this will serve as my this will serve as my folding allowance so since i'm done i'm going to shift back to this so i'm going to start rolling Just measure out 12. So I'm going to measure out 12. The rest will serve as my. I'll measure out 12. Why the rest will serve as my uh, lapel and buttonhole. So since I'm through marking these lines, the next thing for me is to start my basic measurement so i will start from this line i will start exactly from this 12 inches line that i mapped out so the next thing for me is i will start here to mark out my neckline which is three remember this is optional this is optional i'm going to use standard of three by three so if Remember that I said this freehand. If you are going to do neck extension, there's something that we call neck extension. You're going to do neck extension 
this will have to be two and a half inches because you will add one inch at your back panel to make sure that that your that your shoulder is balanced so i'm going to mark that two and a half because i will be adding the extension so i'm going to connect my neckline so my shoulder is seven my shoulder is 14 14 divided by two will give me seven so i will add half inch for shoulder for shoulder and oh, how will i put it i'll add half inch for balancing then half inch for some allowance which will make it a total of eight so i'm going to mark out my eight inches so from this eight inches my shoulder slope will be half inch so i'm going to connect it to my neckline so my armhole i have showed you guys how to calculate your armhole my armhole is uh, 7.75 so i'm going to extend this to this line see i will not divide my armhole because this is a blazer it's not a top so this old method you can use it for your blazers you can use it for your shirt you can use it for sometimes you can also use it for your for a certain types of blouse so i'm going to connect all I have my armhole ruler with me, so what I have to do is to use my armhole to create a curve. Yes, perfect. So this is my neckline, this is my armhole, this is my shoulder and, and my shoulder slope. This is my lapel, where my lapel and my buttonhole will be. Remember that you have to put, um, what is it called, um, that. So I'm going to use that of uh, four inches, that's the standard, all over. So it's going to stop on my hip line. I'm going to connect this three, like so. So my waist, I'm going to go in by this side, I'm going to go in by one inch, while I'm going to go in by half inch. So on my boss line, I'm going to come down by one inch. So if you followed carefully on my pattern, how to draft all this, you will see all this clear and more detailed. So I'm going to connect it back to the hip line. Why I did this because I want it to be a one-way blazer. I don't want to split the neckline and I don't want it to have a princess coat. I don't want it to have a shoulder that I want it to be normal so that every it will be as simple as ever. So my waist is uh, 7.7 7.5. So this is a uh, this is a uh, 3.75 so i'm going to shift my tip 3.75 to mark out my 7.5 which is here so i'm going to add my two inches which is here so my hip is uh, 40 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 so i'll place my tape right here mark out my 10 plus my seam allowance which is this just leave your full length the same measurements as your hip reason is that so that when you sit it will be comfortable for you to sit it will not be too open let me just use the word it will not be too open so right now i'm going to reconnect this to this so since we are true with the basic measurements the next and the very tricky part is the lapel the breaking points and the button hole so from these four inches that we minus here i'm going to go in by one one inch one one inch or two 
what we have to do is you will decide where you want your break or your breaking point to be this is my waistline your break point is where your lapel will stop and where your buttonhole will start so some stops at the chest line some likes theirs to start at the bust line someone dares to start at the waistline so i'm going to do it because i don't want it to be exposed that much so i'm going to do it one inch down my bust line so this is my breaking point so the next thing for me to do since i have gotten my breaking point i'm going to connect my uh, i'm going to connect from my neckline to that breaking point so since i have gotten my breaking point i'm going to extend depending on how wide you want your lapel to be so i'm going to extend mine remember whatever you are doing you have to add your seam allowances to it because if you don't at the end of the at the end of your work everything will shorten if you are the the type that wants a wide wide uh, what's it called wide uh, lapel me i like wide lapel so i'm going to do mine to be four therefore remember that i'm going to use half inch for seam allowance so this is how my lapel will look like okay so it's going to be from here to this break point all this depends on what you want so i'm going to come in by one inch so this is uh, exactly my here so my my collar will start here so my collar will look something standard collar is something like this you understand so this is like a sample what next i'm going to do is to shape the, my collar and how i want it to be so I'm go i want my collar to be something like this something slanty and not straight you understand so always remember the length of your collar so i'll make mine to be two and a half remember collar is not among what we are doing but i just want to get the shape of what i'm working with so if you like you can extend your you can extend your lapel just do anything that you are comfortable with the design and so on and so forth so i think i'm going to cut this thing out because i'm true drafting remember that i said you can shape your um your lapel anyhow you want it you can also from here you can you, you can do like the simplest blazer which i'm going to show you guys how to do on the pattern so you can also do whatever you want you can extend your breaking point to your waistline depending if you are going to use the inner for it so I'm going to bring my scissors to cut it all out and show you guys how it looks. See what next to do. Hmm? This place that your cola, this place that your you are to extend your cola, I'm going to notch. I'm going to notch. Can you see? I have notched it. So this is what we have, guys. This is what we have exactly. So I'm going to use this to cut out the back.
so guys since i have uh, placed the the front panel up or the back panel so what i did was i folded the lapel and also the button hole so this is what i did i folded the button hole and the lapel inside remember at the waistline the waistline this was the actual waistline so i'm going to mark out um, I'm going to okay this is the actual waistline which is uh, 7.75 plus 1 inch which is 8.75 here plus 2 inch which is here so my waistline for my back is supposed to be here the actual waistline I said my waist is 30 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5 7.5 plus half half inch for the dart leg is eight and a half plus two inches for the side seam is ten and a half so the total i have here is ten and a half inches which i marked out here ten and a half inches which i marked out here we are going to add uh, okay we are going to add uh, what's it called extension well, if you look at this now, you will notice that we don't have enough fabric for the extension. We don't have enough fabric for the extension. So what I have to do is to trim now. So I'm going to knot again. So there is no need adding extension because of the length of the material. So it's not lengthy enough for me to use to add neck shoulder extension. So what I have to do, the neck will be one inch. Why I did one inch is because of the seam allowance. I will go in by one inch so that my back will have shape. So I will go in by one inch here. So I'm going to connect this. I'm going to connect this. So my back will deepen. My back will deepen. Then this is my hip line, which stops somewhere here. So I'm going to extend it. Extend it like I want my butt to show. I, mean, I want it to show my shape. Oh my god! I don't know why my jaw keeps breaking. So I want it to show my shape. Then I'm going to join it to this side. If you have your hip curve, this is where it will come into play. You use your hip curve to make sure that you curve your hip very well. So that's why I decided to use this hip curve for this tutorial. So I want here to be curvy enough. Perfect. So this is it. Remember that uh, what's it called? That your lapel is going to be four. So guys, here is the trick. If you don't want to split, if you don't want to split your blazer into pieces, what you have to do is either you use your pattern drafting to achieve the lapel side, or you can just keep watching and follow my steps. So here, I folded my fabric into two because this lapel is going to be left and right side so you can see i is a flat and a straight line 
So what I have to do now is